Today we'll see how to use the Polymi import command to import any live resources from any cloud into infrastructure's code. First, we're going to create a virtual machine, an EC2 instance, using the Amazon console. This can be useful if we're just exploring or learning how new services work without having to become experts in infrastructure as code and how all the concepts relate. Now that our instance is up and running, let's see how to get it into code. First, we're going to create a Pulumi project. In this case, we're going to use Python, but Pulumi supports other languages like TypeScript, JavaScript, Go, and C Sharp. Next, we're actually going to import that resource into Pulumi. First, we'll copy the instance ID, and then we'll go back to our terminal, and we'll run the Pulumi import command. That takes a few arguments. One is the type of the resource, the second is the name, and the third is the ID that we copied from the Amazon console. We can see here that Pulumi reads back all the properties, including the AMI, the availability zone. And by clicking yes, we'll actually import the resource. We now need to make sure our infrastructure's code matches the resource state that was imported. Pulumi generates all that code for us in whatever language we've chosen. So we can just paste that straight into our program. To verify we've done this correctly, we can run Pulumi up and it will show that there are no differences. We've gone from the console to infrastructure as code using a few simple commands. Let's now edit our infrastructure as code definition, adding a security group for our EC2 instance that allows internet traffic on port 80. And we'll see that we can now modify that same resource in place that was provisioned originally in the AWS console, but is now represented in our infrastructure as code. We'll run Pulumi up and it will show us the delta between what we've just added to our program and what's already in existence in the AWS cloud. We can then apply the changes and Pulumi will make the minimal set of edits necessary to change our infrastructure state to match our desired goal state. Finally, let's destroy the instance using Pulumi. We'll notice that Pulumi protects us from accidentally destroying resources that have been imported. To actually perform the destruction, we have to unprotect the resource by deleting the protection flag, running Pulumi up, and then finally, we'll be able to actually run Pulumi Destroy, and this will terminate the EC2 instance. And with that, we went seamlessly from the AWS console into the full infrastructure's code lifecycle, from creation to update to destroy. Mm -hmm.